a mask. With the new recommendation from the CDC, many people are opting for a do-it-yourself version. But how do you know to make the right mask at home? Well, we know will it be effective? WBZ's Anna Myler spoke with an expert from Brigham and Women's Hospital. The CDC has changed its tune when it comes to wearing face masks in public. Dr. Paul Sachs, the clinical director of infectious diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital, explains why. Since the people without symptoms can actually have the virus and be shedding it without knowing, that's the, really the main reason for the masks. Because of shortages, officials say people should use cloth, not N95 masks or surgical ones. The U.S. Surgeon General posted this video on YouTube showing how to craft a face covering with a t-shirt and rubber bands. Things like bandanas, things like uh, scarfs, they're actually also better than nothing. Or you can turn to Tallulah and Poppies, a clothing store in Acton. The company is manufacturing and donating thousands of medical masks for healthcare workers. And now, with these new CDC guidelines, they're also making washable cloth ones and make your own mask kits to sell to anyone online. The outreach for people looking for these personal masks um, has been crazy. This is one way that to keep things going for my business as well, like, and also provide people what they need to be safe, that's a win-win. The CDC recommendation is voluntary, but Dr. Sachs says people should take this precaution. We do think that this really will help. Now that we're at this phase of the epidemic uh, in the United States with very rapid upslope of cases, especially in, for example, in, right here in Boston, uh, I would definitely recommend it. Officials say that wearing a face mask is not a substitute for social distancing or washing your hands. Anna Myler, WBZ News. 